Remember, don't try this at home. We're what you call experts. In the 360 swing myth, the awesome foursome got Susie over the top. But it turns out to be not quite what the team had hoped for. Moments after Susie goes over the bar, she just falls out of the sky. It's not a chain straight 360, so it's back to the drawing board. So you guys needed to call in the big guns to get her over the bar, did you? Yeah, we cleared the bar, but it wasn't a full 360. It was more like 300, and then she fell. Well, we know this myth is busted. You can't, under your own power, do a 360. But as Mythbusters, we kind of want to see what it takes to actually do it. So we decided to build a scale model to help us figure out if it was even possible. Hello. I'm Susie. Hello. Lost it. It's too late. Tori, the minimum amount of push to get it 360. Okay. Test number one, Tori power on the model. Ooh, that, that was, was good. That was pretty good. And her speed, 36 feet per second. Way faster than even Grant swung at. And maybe too fast to replicate on the full-size swing. But there is a way to make it easier. Use rigid arms. With rigid arms, no energy is wasted in keeping the chain straight. All the forces are channeled into velocity, so a much slower speed is needed to go 360. That's it. Bingo. The rigid arm only needed a velocity of 10 feet per second. A rigid arm swing can indeed go 360. But chain swings. Well, the build team tried their best, but got nowhere. This myth is busted. So now, in classic Mythbusters fashion, they're going to do whatever it takes to get a chain swing up and over the bar. We came up with sort of a wild e coyote solution to this 360 problem. We're just going to strap a few rockets to little simulate Susie and just watch her go around the swing set. No sooner said than done. Little Susie's got one glued to her back. Three, two, one, firing. <laughs> well, the little rocketeer went over the bar, but not quite as planned. Well, that test was pretty good. <laughs> I think what we need to uh, check out now is what, what's more important, tension on the chain, mm -hmm or angular velocity, which is going to push it around in an arc. Okay. So for test two, the rocket is positioned exactly horizontal for maximum velocity. In three, two, one, firing. <laughs> the horizontal rocket sends Susie off into a cataclysmic spin and blows off her hand. So for the next test, the rocket is positioned vertically for max tension on the chain. In three, two, one, launching. <laughs> that was pretty wow. pathetic. So the vertical rocket was pretty useless. It's going to be a combination that's needed for this myth. Something like, say, 40 degrees? So this is test number four. Rockets 40 degrees to the horizontal. All right, we're armed and launching in three, two, one. Fire. Yes! Yeah. Yes! Beautiful. Perfect! That was great. 40 degrees was spot on. Susie goes 360 and beyond. So the next stage is to replicate this result on the full-size swing by strapping on some mammoth missiles. 